Hello, Daniel Allsop here. And you may know by my last video by Zanzim Cafe that I couldn't find anything and just turn it into Doctor Who to be honest. Basically I love Doctor Who. However, Saturday, I'm still tired from it. Saturday night for me, a few days ago, you won't be. Depends what time I upload this. Anyway, I went to the Doctor Who prom. So if you don't if you're gonna watch this on TV when it's on TV and don't want any spoilers, turn off now. Right then, for those who are still here, I'm gonna show you the program, tell you a bit about it and this poster I got. So this is the program, as you see it's a TARDIS, and if you open up the doors inside of the TARDIS. Really cool. So then first page here we have a Cyberman playing chess. I'm going in time. And Doc Goobrum says what days it's on because it was on twice. I saw that 7.30 to 9.45 one, except it ended at like 10.25, not 9. And is then has some of the people who helped make it possible, like the singers. And there was an interview for 20 minutes running all the and program notes. And Prom 2 is broadcast live on BBC Radio 3 and is repeated for me tomorrow, 16th of July. And they both were recorded for broadcasting the autumn on BBC One. And then you can watch them seven days after on the BBC Three website and the BBC iPlayer. And then we have a BBC Prom 2. Here, this is Sonic Boom from Q and A with Murray Gold, and it's talking about um, for the last eight years he's been, yeah, two thousand five to twenty thirteen, and a whole lot more. Uh, then he has an interview. Well, we memory the Doctor of Music. He says that it is one of his favourite sh shows. Uh, you put it on over his because if I have the music it would scare him huh? and which tune remains so vital and theme tune remains so vital because Ron Granger D.W. Derbyshire made it just so memorable and then here we have a picture from the rings of Akatan um, more interview and then this is Julia Derbyshire and it's about the original theme and some more and then here are the 11 doctors and as you see the images are all those stamps that were sent out and it's got facts about each one like who the actor was Distinguishing features, Doctor's Note, and a, a memorable Doctor's Line. This Doctor. So, Doctor, that one's actually different from the stamp. Because I'm stamping it smiling. And then we have the Eighth Doctor. Nine, ten, eleven. And then here are the answers of the Doctor's Lines. You have to guess which one they're from. The Sonic Baton, eh? Basically, for the first time, they should have always done this before. Basically, Ben Foster, the conductor, was conducting with this, a sonic baton. He did kick, try and pretend to be the doctor against when the Daleks came on then about the sonic. And then there's the running order, as we see Madman with a box. I am the doctor. Got this thing called Carmen, which was in Series 7. Companions. Cyber Sharp. And some more stuff, including strange, strange creatures. The name of the doctor, and finally, there was Song for Fifty, which is, as you see, world premiere. Which really was something we have a Dalek from Journey's End. And here are the program notes for each piece, with pictures to go with them. Suitable pictures.
this is a limited edition thing. Can't get it anymore because there's no more Doctor Who prom of this being shown live. What's the name? Let me the lyrics. Happy birthday, Doctor You. That'd be it. And then here is about Murray Gold. We have an image there. Blah, blah, blah. Matt Smith. I, like, I kind of like this image because it's got a Cyberman in the audience. With Matt Smith not in the audience. Talk about him. Then Jenna Louise Coleman, as we see, has changed her name to Jenna Coleman. That's about her. And Ben Foster, the conductor of the orchestra. And then you look at the Then we have a tenor, Alan Clayton, singer, Kerry Ingram, soprano, Ellen Manhunt Thomas. Then there's about the orchestra. Oh, and there's an iron side. And then it is everyone in the BBC National Orchestra of Wales. And then London Philharmonic Choir, all of them. And then production credits. Got the Doctor, Matt Smith, and all of these. So yeah. And then the week in the week. And that is the programme. Then, this poster, it... I don't want to unravel it now because it takes forever, though it is of a Cyberman. Really cool. Because I like Cybermen. I actually had a nightmare about them a few weeks ago. Actually, the day of the prom. So now about the prom. There are several presenters. Matt Smith and Jenna Coleman. Matt Smith, short hair. That's funny. Then also, Madame Vastra and Strax were there, which was funny. There was field reports Strax had done on the BBC. He did one of them for prom. Human sitting in chairs. That's why he did. He seriously did that. And Madame Vastra had to calm him down the entire time. Also, Caroline Ford, you may know, plays the Doctor's granddaughter, Susan. And also, surprise, surprise, Peter Davison, a.k.a. The Fifth Doctor, presented some of it. Genius. I like Peter Davison. We also had the regular Dalek suite. BBC Promise needs to really get some security so the Daleks don't always get in. That's a problem for them. Anyway, and they played Dalek music. Ben Foster pretended to be the Doctor with his sonic baton. Started firing it. Didn't work. Kicked it, hurt his foot, and was forced to play Dalek music. The Daleks did some funny stuff. They were like, to the audience, You will all say exterminate. We said nothing. And they said, We cannot hear you. And we just went on like that, so we had to just eventually say exterminate. Ha! Matt Smith and Jenna Coleman made an appearance on the big screen, which they filmed a while ago. Bow Wow, the Doctor failed to get them tickets. But they had a scratch ticket. You'll see. And then, Doctor Who theme showing every Doctor theme tune. Nice. And they paid tribute to every single last Doctor. But they're very good tune presenters for the first time. Overall, I say one of the best Doctor Who proms, I reckon. To be honest, that one was the best prom. I can't really think you can top that prom. To be honest, down to the quality of it. Only one criticism, really. In the Royal Albert Hall, there is no air conditioning. As you may know, on Saturday, it was really hot. So, that's it from me. So, goodbye.